Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Soda Tatsuki. And today, I will be showing you a game called Strange Telephone. Yeah. I beat this in like five hours on the first day I bought it. It was pretty fun. So I figured, why not give you guys all a walkthrough? As you can see, we have Jill here, or whatever her name is. As you can see, I have all the endings. It's fun playing this game. It even has a sound test. I have bragging rights for beating this game in five hours. Right? So let's go on ahead and start a new game. No, no, no. Yep. Ow. Getting started. So this is an adventure game in which the main character, Jill, and her phone, Graham, work together to escape from the world in which they've been trapped. Data is saved automatically. The story and its characters are completely fictitious. However the fuck you pronounce that. I don't know. Yeah, 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 I know this. Yep, items. Glitches, oh god. I've beaten this game before, but I've had to restart multiple times, mainly because the, like the um, save file would just like delete itself sometimes, and it was very annoying. I hated that glitch. It was the worst. The first things first. You want to come here, and you want to click on this first. Got a sun lamp. Now you go to items and use this. Why you want this? If you play the game without it, you cannot do shit. The visibility will be not clear enough, and you can't do anything. The first things first, we want to go here, or at least. That's what you may think. But first things first, we're gonna get one of the easiest endings. We're going to six 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 six. This is a world known as Disconnect. Oh fuck! You scared me. Here's the thing. Usually, if you like walk to the side, you'll warp to different worlds. But in the Disconnect world, you can't do that. Now, that's Disconnect, that guy that's trying to hit us. Now, if he hits us, it's game over. And it will grant us one of 11 endings. So come on, kill us. That? That's how you get that ending. Ending number four. Disconnect. One of the easier endings to get. The first one I got was like maximum glitch or whatever it's called. So yeah, if you want to get at that ending, that's how you can get it. Also, I think like Jill only appears here if you complete the game, which I like. I'll show you like the sound test later. Also, to get the camera. You just like immediately have it when you have when you start the game. Now first things first, you go here. I do have like a little cheat sheet that is like full of different phone numbers. Okay. Anyway, so you come here to solitude. And you talk to this guy. And he gives you that. One Eight, four, seven, three, three. Write that down, because it's important. Now you go back to the core, and you get 
rid of this, and you type in that same number. I kind of forgot it. Good thing I have it written down right here in Notepad. Here, one, eight, four, seven, three, three. Now here, this is an important room. Because right here, you can get this item right here. The search device. This is very important for later on. It appears to be an old style telephone. But someone has broken it. And this guy right here, don't forget that he's here. Because this is important. This guy right here. Because he will give you another enemy. So that's, um, three out of however many items there are. Now here's what the search device does. It shows you what's in that world. But a lot of it may be question mark, question, like question mark. That's because it's an object you have not yet interacted with. I have um, a list of some important world here. Let's see, what's this one again? Oh yeah, you can also find the phone book by pressing that button. Oh yeah, this is just the moon one. I haven't heard it yet. No kidding. Now that world is important for way later on in the game. And it's not important now, but it's important very later on. Uh, I forgot what some of these were. Oh, I'm almost out of time. Well, um, I'll go here and then end the video. Okay, so there's all these items. Functional, but there's no ball. Huh? Fluffy bed. Oh. And bunches of culture are laid out. The bottoms are, are safe to be lost. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's some binoculars. Cut a binoculars. That's how logic works. Beaten up old door. Seems to be locked, but there's no people. Are you sure about that? Looks like the moon hasn't risen yet. No kidding. What's this? A lot of difficult looking books. <laughs> if you interact with this again, um, you put away the binoculars. That's what it says. Books arranged in a line. Is there no chair here? Okay, well, let's get the full glitch ending while we're here. And now, we die. Goodbye, world. It was not fun knowing you, world. I love being dead. Wait. Those bunny birds. I've never seen those bunny birds. I like the ending because. Look, you can just drag Jill around the room. Oh, no, she's gone. No, ending number four, five. Maximum glitch. That was episode one. I'm sorry it couldn't be longer because of my time limit. If you enjoyed, Wanna more of this walkthrough? Like and subscribe. I don't fucking know. Have a good day. <laughs> this is Soda Tatsuki signing off.